Welcome to Red Light Method's group power plate class. Go ahead and grab an exercise mat that's hanging on the wall and then grab one set of dumbbells and head to your power plate. As long as you're clear to jog or run, then you're medically clear to do a power plate class. If you want to take it easy, we have stools all throughout the studio. Go ahead and grab a stool and pull it up to the power plate. And that's an option if you just want to hang out on the stool and place your feet on the power plate. You could follow along that way and it's going to be your most gentle option. So always listen to your body, honor your body, and we give lots of options and modifications throughout class. All right, you guys, so the power plate has three different levels of vibration. I encourage you to start on the relaxed setting because that is the nicest, most gentle setting. The next setting is strength, and that's an intermediate level. It has a slightly stronger vibration. And the most intense setting is the massage setting, and that one's very intense on the vibration. So it's really important that you listen to your body, you start off slow, and we gradually increase the intensity of your classes. So we want you to stay safe and to get strong in a healthy way and work within your means. All right, have an awesome class, you guys. Welcome to class, guys. Go ahead and grab a rubber band and tube and a round rubber band from the black box in front of your power plate. We're gonna strap it around the power plate for easy access as we move into using fun with rubber bands in class today. Great job. Now you wanna grab the round one, step on your power plate, and um, make sure it's not balled up and we're gonna carefully place each leg into the rubber band. Pull it up to about mid thigh and try to make it as flat as possible. It's just more comfortable that way. Bend your knees softly. Good, and hit start, here we go. All right, so from here we're gonna do around the world. We're gonna kick back to the side and to the front. Any order you'd like. Forward to the side and to the back, alternating each side. Lift the leg to the front, to the side, and to the back. Great job, this is our around the world warm up, kicking the leg forward, to the side, and back, and alternating. Use your breath. Again, reminder here to keep the weight to the balls of your feet, and keep a soft bend in your knees throughout all of class. Anytime we're standing on the plate, you definitely wanna have the weight more to the ball of your foot. If you place it too much into the heels, it's gonna shake your brain a little too much. It might be uncomfortable. So to, to get rid of that, keep the knees bent and weight towards your toes. Great job, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit repeat here. Great job. Now we're gonna do the same thing just three times. So pulse the leg forward three times, to the side three times, and then to the back three times. Great work, other side. So we're gonna bring it forward three times, to the side, three pulses, and to the back for three pulses. Use your breath. Check in with your shoulder blades and our posture. We wanna be very mindful that we're keeping our collarbone broad and wide so our shoulders aren't rounding. Keep your shoulder blades also gliding down towards the back pockets of your pants. So we're creating length in our neck. Nice tall posture through the spine. Good, and use your breath. Breathing in deeply through the nose and out through the mouth or nose. And each exhale, remind yourself to pull your belly button in tight towards your back, and that helps to engage our core. Great job on your warm up, you guys. You're doing awesome. Woohoo! Okay, guys, we're gonna go into our lower body block two. So go ahead and keep that strap around your thighs. And here we go. All right, go ahead and hit repeat. Bend your arms. And we're gonna go into donkey kicks on one side. So we have our left leg static and anchored on the power plate. And you're gonna bend the right knee in and kick it back. These are donkey kicks, bend and kick. Kicking that leg back and up as high as you can. With your left standing leg, we wanna keep a soft bend in the knee and keep the weight again towards your toes. Engage your abs and check in on those shoulders. We wanna draw those shoulder blades down away from our ears. Bend the knee in and kick it out. Awesome. Use your breath and pull your belly button in deep towards your back. We always wanna remind ourselves to keep our core engaged as we're doing our exercises here on the power plate. Good, bend and kick. 
Great job. Okay, go ahead and hit repeat. That kicking leg is now going to be the step back leg. So we're going to keep our same leg planted, step back and lift, back and lift. Good. Keeping your arms rested on the top of the power plate. So bend your standing leg lower and kick and lift. Great job. Use your breath. You can always take a break if you need to and stretch if it's getting to be too intense. Good, bend in that standing leg, kick and lift. Check in on those shoulder blades and broaden and widen your collarbone here. Good, use your breath. We're definitely feeling this in the glutes and the legs. Great job, you guys, almost done. All right, it's time to switch sides. Go ahead and hit repeat. Bend the arms, lower down, and we'll switch to the other side. So now you have your right leg as your standing leg and we're donkey kicking with our left leg as the gesture leg. Bend and kick back, lifting that leg up as high as you can. Soft bend in the right standing leg, keeping it anchored on the power plate and the weight is slightly towards your toes. Check in again with those shoulders. Engage your abdominals, nice deep breathing. You guys are doing really awesome, good job. Good, bend and kick, lift the leg up as high as you can. You could do it, just a few more here. All right, good job. Let's go ahead and hit repeat. And then we're gonna take our arms back down. Keeping that same leg planted, we're gonna bend, lower, and lift the back gesture leg. Bend the standing leg, lower lift. Great. Kicking that back leg up as high as you can. Bend lower, tap the ground, and then lift and kick it up. Nice anchored shoulders using the breath. You can always take a break if you need to, but you're almost done with this lower body section. You guys are doing awesome. Kicking that leg up as high as you can. Woo, just a few seconds left. You guys got it, great job. All right, good job you guys, nice work. We're finishing up block two. All right guys, we're going into block three next. This is our full body combo block. Here we go. Okay guys, grab the red rubber band. We're gonna hit repeat and here we go. Open your arms all the way out and look to one direction as just that elbow bends and extends. So we're holding the rubber band out all the way straight on one side and then just bending and extending. You can always bring it in closer to make it a little harder or take it wider if you would like to ease up on it. Anchor those shoulders, widen the collarbone, keep the shoulders away from the ears so we have that beautiful posture. Great, so just one elbow is bending and extending. Keep your wrist strong so the wrist is an extension with your forearm. Great job, shoulders down out of the ears. The elbow bends and extends on just one side. You guys are doing awesome. Soft bend in those knees. Again, weight towards the ball of the feet. Good, nice shoulder adjustments, strong core. Use your breath. Okay, let's hit repeat. We're gonna go to the other side. So open the rubber band out, other direction. Elbow bends and extends. Really draw those shoulder blades down out of the ears. Softly bend your standing leg, standing legs. Good, and the weight's towards the ball of your feet. Use your breath, connect to your abs and core. The wrist is strong, so we have our wrist in line with the forearm throughout this movement. Good, think of growing tall through the crown of the head towards the ceiling as those shoulder blades drop down away from the ears. Elbow bends and extends. 
Use your breath. Great job, you guys. Definitely very effective in shaping the arms. And we have the awesome benefit of the power plate here as well. Just love the power plate. It's so amazing and effective. All right, great job, you guys. Go ahead and we'll ditch that rubber band and we're gonna take the rubber band off from our thighs. Awesome. Place it back into the black box in front of your power plate. Step one foot onto the power plate. We're gonna hit repeat and we're doing a wide elbow row. So you're gonna to have to adjust where you're standing. You can go back further to make it more challenging or closer to make it nicer. You have one leg bent placed on the power plate, the other is on the mat. Elbows are wide, keep your wrist strong again, same thing. So the wrist is an extension of the forearm. So we don't want it to break or bend wonky. So just be really mindful of your wrist positioning. Elbows go wide and back, squeeze your scapula or your shoulder blades together. Tighten your abs and core and use your breath. You can always take a break, listen to your body or adjust as needed, coming closer to make it a little nicer or going further back if you want more of a challenge. Nice deep breathing. Pull your belly button in deep towards your back. You guys are doing awesome. Elbows back, nice and wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together. All right, great job. We're gonna go ahead and hit repeat. Switch feet, other leg is on top. And this time, same thing, we're gonna add a variation though. So pull back and rotate, eyes gaze over the shoulder as you rotate. So one elbow at a time, nice strong wrists. Good, rotate, row back with one arm, wide elbow. And as you're rotating, your head gazes over your shoulder behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blade together. Awesome. You can always adjust your stance, come closer to make it a little bit nicer or go further back to make it a little more challenging. You guys are doing great. Good. Rotate and back. Awesome. Use your breath. Draw your navel in tight towards your back. Awesome work, great job you guys. So next we're gonna go down to some plank-like exercises. So grab a mat if you don't already have one and grab a pad for the power plate. We also need to have a small dumbbell for this variation. So if you have difficulty going down to the floor, you could just skip the next few moments of exercises and just stand on the power plate and just continue along, but always honor your body. All right, so once your mat and pad and your dumbbell are ready, Let's get going into our full body exercise. Here we go. Okay, so grab your remote, go ahead and hit repeat. And we're gonna take the dumbbell into one hand. You could be onto your forearm and we're doing a tricep extension. So you're on your knees, the arms bending and extending. Draw the shoulders down. You can also come up onto your hand of the supporting arm. The forearm's a little better though. It gives you a better angle. Engage your abs here. Widen at the collarbone, pull those shoulder blades down out of the ears. Good, use your breath. The elbow bends and extends. Great job. If you're a hardcore ninja, you can try planking here, but I'm gonna stay on my knees. Elbow bends and extends, great job. We're almost done with this side. All right, we'll go ahead and place that weight down, grab the remote and place, push one of the top two buttons, hit repeat, and here we go to the other side. Your other arm's down, take the weight into the other hand. The arm kicks back straight, elbow bends and extends. Use your breath, engage your abs here. Nice job, you can come up onto your hand if you'd like. I prefer the elbow and forearm for this, it's a nicer angle. And if you feel like a ninja, feel free to go back and plank. I'm not going to demonstrate that though, but that's always an option if you'd like. Good. The shoulder's nice and strong. So we're not like letting our torso just rest into that shoulder. We're keeping the core strong, lifting up and out. 
Good. Pull your belly button up. So we're fighting gravity here because our abs just want to kind of hang down, but we have to use our abdominals to lift up against gravity in this position. Good. You're almost done with this side. You guys are doing great. All right. So when you're ready, we're going to go ahead, set the weight down, grab your remote and press one of the top two buttons to hit repeat. And we're going to press repeat, turn around for triceps, walk your legs out a little further this time. We're going to keep a bend in the elbow and we're going to lift one leg up and switch, lift and switch. So we're getting a little fancy with our choreography here, adding a leg kick. You guys are doing great. Keeping a soft bend in those elbows, definitely feeling the triceps. You can also add an arm extension if you'd like. You can bend and extend with this. Lots of variations. Use your breath. Good. You can always take a break if you need to. Sit down on the power plate. Give yourself a hug or stretch your triceps if you need to. So as always, honor your body and listen to your body throughout class. You guys are doing great. You're almost done here. Great job. Woo. All right. Now we're going to get ready for core and ab work. So go ahead and lie down at your mat and place your feet on top of the power plate with your knees bent. Okay. We'll go ahead and hit the timer. Very good. Lay down, lift the hips, stretch the arms overhead and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Let the arms come down again. Lift the hips up. Stretch your arms overhead, reach your hands overhead as you roll your spine down. Good, and then the arms come back to follow. Again, peel your spine up, stretch the arms overhead, keep the arms there, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms come down, bridge up. Nice, arms stretch overhead, reach the hands overhead as you roll your spine down. And then the arms come down once your hips are down. Bridge up, stretch the arms overhead, roll your spine down then bring the arms down. Good job. Go ahead and bridge up, stretch the arms overhead, roll your spine down, and then let the arms come down. Awesome. Bridge up, stretch the arms, roll down, and then bring your arms alongside your body. Great job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and hit timer again. We're going to do another variation. So we're going to bridge up, stretch the arms overhead, keep them there, roll down, and the arms come down. Bridge up, stretch the arms overhead. Great job. Roll down, bring the arms along. Bridge up, stretch the arms over, peel down, arms follow. Bridge up, arms stretch, come down, and the arms follow. This feels really great on the spine. So now arms go over. Bridge up, peel down, arms come back. So arms go over first now, then bridge up, then bridge down, then the arms follow. Go ahead and bridge up, stretch the arms overhead, roll your spine down, and then let the arms come down. Awesome. Bridge up, stretch the arms, roll down, and then bring your arms alongside your body. Great job, you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go into one called coordination. So lift your legs up into 90 degrees, arms up straight. You're gonna shoot the legs and arms out to 45 degrees, open, close the legs, and come back. So shoot the legs out, open, close, knees in first, then the head and arms go down. So arms and legs shoot out to 45, open, close the legs, knees first, then the head and arms. Good, so extend arms and legs at the same time, open, close, use your breath, knees first, head and arms go down. Good, extend arms and legs out, open, close, knees only, then the head and arms go down. So coordination, extend arms and legs, open, close, abs are in, knees first, head and arms. So keep your low back anchored, extend out to 45, legs open, close, knees in, then head and arms. This is a tough one, extend out, open, close, Knees in and then head and arms down. Good job. Extend out, open, close. Knees only come in, then head and arms go down. Good job. Extend out, open, close. Knees only. Good. And then head and arms come down. You guys are doing great. 
All right, guys, we're going into block six standing side body. Go ahead and grab that round rubber band and place it around your thighs. Step on the power plate and be very careful as you place one leg into the rubber band and then the second leg. We wanna pull the rubber band up to about mid thigh level and get it nice and flat if you can. It's okay if it's wrinkled, but the flatter the better. Standing on the power plate, here we go. We're gonna hit repeat. One leg is lifted, big circle. Circle that leg from your hip socket all the way out. Keep your knee as straight as possible. We're circling in one direction. Your arm is placed wherever is comfortable on the power plate based on your height. Keep a slight bend in the standing leg. Shoulders are down, collarbones wide. And again, the circle's not from the knee joint. The circle is coming from your hip socket out through the leg. Nice big circles. Good, use your breath, connect to your abdominals. You guys are doing great. Lift the leg up as high as you can on this, parallel to the floor if you have the amount of range of motion that allows that. Awesome job, you guys, we're almost done on this side. Great job. All right, we'll go ahead and come down, hit repeat, and other side. Place your forearm wherever is comfortable based on your height. Soft bend in the standing leg. Big circles with that gesture moving leg. Keep the knee straight so we're not circling from the knee joint, circling from our hip socket. Don't use me as an example. You want to lift that leg up a lot higher than I am. You can do it. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Draw those shoulders down away from your ears. You guys are doing great. Awesome job. Good. Use your breath. Nice, long, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth or nose. Pulling your belly button in deep towards your back as you exhale, engaging all those layers of abdominal muscles. Great job. Lift it up a little higher. We're almost done. Awesome job, you guys. Great job. Woohoo! We could take that rubber band off. Now we're going into my most favorite block, block seven, which is stretching and centering the body. So if you don't already have a mat, grab a mat and line it up with your power plate. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Take your left leg on. We're going into a minute long hamstring stretch. So square those hips up. Keep your left knee all the way straight. Your toes are reaching back towards your nose. And so you can take your hands wherever is comfortable for this stretch. It could be on the power plate or on the handles, or you can just be upright with your hands on your hips. Adjust how far back you wanna be on the power plate. We just wanna think of reaching our heel forward, our left sits bone back, the left knees all the way straight. Lift up on your left patella or your left kneecap. Engage the left quadricep muscle. Good, and we're just gonna stretch here. It's a glorious stretch, and stretching on the power plate's amazing. There's many variations, so listen to your body. You could place your hands anywhere that's comfortable. So effective in stretching with the power plate, it really gets improves flexibility. All right, we're almost done with our minute-long hamstring stretch, you guys. It feels glorious. We're gonna flow right into a minute-long hip flexor stretch now, so go ahead and hit repeat. Same leg is on. You're going to jump the back leg back further, have a bend in that front left knee. So you're feeling this stretch throughout the hip flexor on the right side. Take your hands anywhere that's comfortable. So you want to make your back leg straight, squeeze your back leg glute and pull the belly button in and you're going to feel a deep stretch in that hip flexor on the right side. Good. Again, your hands can go anywhere that's comfortable. I have my hands on the power plate but you can hold up higher if you need to, wherever feels comfortable. So we're stretching the hip flexor muscle, which is in front of the hip on the right side. So the more you squeeze your right glute and pull your belly button in, the bigger the stretch will be on that right hip flexor. Good, use your breath. Pay attention to those shoulders still and adjust anyway. We're almost done with our minute long hip flexor stretch. Super glorious. All right, guys, we're gonna to go to the other side. So hit repeat and now take your right leg up. We wanna have our hips like headlights facing straight forward. Make that right leg super straight.
Good. Engage your quad muscles. So you're going to pull up on your patella or your kneecap. Let your toes reach back towards your nose. So think of your heel reaching forward and your right sits bone back and lift up on your kneecap. So engaging those right quads, we're going to feel an awesome stretch. Take your hands wherever is comfortable here. You could take it on your leg. You could take it down to the power plate or on the handle. We just want to really make that leg as straight as possible. Shooting the heel forward as the sit bone pulls back, lifting up on the kneecap, going deep into the stretch. Stretching on the power plate is just so awesome. It feels so great. And it's an amazing way to really enhance flexibility. All right, we're almost done with our minute long hamstring stretch. You guys are doing great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press repeat, bend the right standing leg. Now we're going into a minute long hip flexor stretch. Have that knee right over the ankle, hips are still square to the front and take your hands wherever's comfortable. They can go on the power plate, they can go on the handles. You could take your hands on either side of the leg, just whatever feels better for you. Your back leg wants to be straight, squeeze the left glute, pull the belly button in tight, and you're going to really feel a hip flexor stretch on the front of that left hip area. The hip flexor is a pretty big muscle that goes from your lower five lumbar all the way to your upper inner thigh. It's also kind of that front groin area. So we want to really keep the hips square and come down as low as you feel comfortable. The more you squeeze that left glute, contracting the glute and pull the belly button in, the more you're going to feel the left hip flexor muscle because those are opposing muscles. So when they tighten, it automatically stretches the hip flexor. Awesome. You guys are doing great. We're almost done with that minute long hip flexor stretch. Okay. For comfort, take a pad and place it on top of the power plate here next. So this um, pad's going to make it more comfortable for your hands. Hit repeat. We're going to take both of our hands on the power plate and come into an upside down letter V stretch. Let's hold here. Feels very good. Just stretching the backside. You can kind of walk your knees out if you'd like. Bend and stretch at the knees. Awesome. It feels really great. Come into like a plank position. And then let your pelvis lower down if you'd like. Look up, stretching the whole front of the body. Come back into an upside down letter V stretch. Let your head completely hang between the arms. This feels really great. You can walk it out in those knees. Just getting stretching and centering here before the end of class. Come back into a plank. Come back into that nice front body stretch, looking upward. Feels super good. Awesome. Come back into that upside down letter V. Walk your feet in close. Take your hands down to the floor to meet the feet. Let your head be totally relaxed here. We're going to slowly walk our hands up. Awesome job. Now that class is over, there's spray bottles and towels. Please spray down your mat and equipment and just return your equipment back to where you got it. Have an awesome day.